Hi, this is Ilya with Warner Wound, and today we're taking a look at the Bulova Lunar Pilot Chronograph. The historical Bulova moon watch has a long and fascinating history. The watch was made for astronaut David Scott, who wore it on the Apollo 15 mission. The watch came to light in 2015, and later that same year it was sold for a whopping $1.3 million at auction. Last year, we did a deep dive into the history of that watch. I won't go into the full story here, but it's definitely worth reading. I'll throw in the link below. In 2015, Bulova released their first reissue of the Moon Watch to great acclaim. $550 retail got you a relatively faithful recreation of that historic model, and the watch was a major hit for the brand. Bulova then released a follow-up in 2017, tweaking a few things along the way. And that's what we're looking at today, the 2017 edition of the Lunar Pilot Chronograph. Let's go over the specs. The stainless steel case measures 45mm wide, 13.5mm thick, and 52mm lug to lug. The lug width is 20mm. It's a big watch, but on the wrist, the Lunar Pilot Chronograph doesn't look or feel as big as the dimensions would suggest. It's largely due to the black case, which pulls the whole thing in. The first version of the Lunar Pilot Chronograph, which was matte stainless steel, wore more like its size. Overall, I really like the case geometry here, especially in profile with the gently curved lines of the lugs playing against the tall, cylindrical bezel and flat sapphire. The overall fit and finish of the case is top notch too. It's a matte, iron plated black steel that looks really clean against the dial of the watch. There are a few details here that I really like. The first is the tall, flat crystal, which sits high off the bezel, and while it does add some height to the watch, it also plays up the neo vintage vibe of the piece. The second detail that I really like are the elongated pushers, which are true to the original design. They have a satisfying click with an adequate amount of resistance. One of the reasons the size works as well as it does here is that the dial doesn't compensate to make up for the larger size of the case. There isn't really an excess of negative space here, and simply put, everything looks really balanced. The dial is largely framed by the tachymeter ring which stands taller than the rest of the dial. Moving inward, you have a stepped ring with concentric grooves. Here, you'll find a scale measuring down to one-fifth of a second, with each second, also each minute, represented by an elongated tick. Taking another step toward the center, you have the primary section of the dial sitting on its own plane. Here, you'll find applied rectangular indices at each hour, three subdials, and some branding. The subdials are actually on the same plane as the second scale, picking up the same concentric pattern. The subdial at 3 measures down to 1 tenth of a second, the subdial at 6 is the running seconds, and the subdial at 9 measures elapsed time to an hour. There are two changes here from the first iteration of this watch that I really like. The first is the lack of a date window at 4.30, keeping the symmetry of the dial intact, and the second is the use of the old Bulova logo similar to the one that you'd see on the historical model. The loom here is white in daylight and it glows blue in the dark. Powering the watch is a movement worthy of some note. The 262 kHz caliber is a high-frequency quartz movement that Bulova calls High Performance Quartz. These movements operate at a much higher frequency than standard quartz and mechanical movements do, resulting in tighter accuracy tolerances. To conserve battery life, the 1 tenth second counter at 3 o'clock stops running after about 30 seconds of operation. The included strap is a pseudo mill strap because it doesn't actually loop through the spring bars, but rather it attaches the way a normal two piece strap would. A second strap then loops behind the case the way a mill strap would. Overall, it feels like a quality strap finished with edge paint and matching black hardware. The Lunar Pilot Chronograph retails for $595. Admittedly, that's a bit high for quartz, but then again, this isn't your run of the mill quartz movement. That and the fact that the rest of the package is high quality makes this a watch that you should really consider, even if you already own the Moon Watch. <laughs>